Hi everyone. So I'm going to get right into a reading. Please only take this if it resonates. Never try to force it to fit. Keep in mind I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will be for you. They will be your energy group and other readings might not be your energy group. I also really appreciate the engagement, liking the video if it resonates, uh, sharing, maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this message, uh, subscribing if it resonates. And I love hearing your, I love reading your comments. I love hearing from you guys. I really appreciate the support. Uh, let's get into it. Whatever the cards want to say. I'm still really nasally too, sorry. Um, I was sick and now my allergies are acting up, so... We got the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Could be a fire sign and a water sign here. King of Wands is a, a male fire sign sometimes, or it could just be a, someone in masculine energy that's very passionate, very courageous. Why the Four of Cups? Knight of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Bear with me, guys. Three of Cups. Page of Wands. Four of Swords. The Sun. Death. Knight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Okay, someone rejected someone else based on information they received. Uh, I almost feel with the Queen of Cups looking towards this King of Wands and he's looking away, I almost feel like she's the one that got rejected. She's the one that's holding this offering and it's like he's not seeing it. He's not seeing her. There was some kind of rejection here. And it was it was about communication, gossip. There was some kind of, with the Knight of Swords here, there was some kind of information that was received. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups. King of Cups. Two of Swords. Someone... Someone basically told this man not to follow his heart. This could be a family member or a friend. Someone told him that, hold on, give me, bear with me here. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, someone, someone, someone's trying to change this man. They, for whatever reason, they don't want him to be a king of cups. Naturally, I feel like this man deep down is actually a king of cups. Like, I think he is gentle and I think he is loving and I think he is empathetic but maybe he hasn't been able to get in touch with that side of himself. Maybe he's been around fake people that have kind of blocked him from that. I just, I get the sense that it's like he hasn't, he just hasn't been able to be the King of Cups. Like his soul wants to be the King of Cups. There's this part of him that's like gnawing at him. That's just calling him to be that King of Cups, to embody that King of Cups energy. And I feel like someone... And we did a reading on this not long ago, so this could be a continuation of that. We're going to get more into it. So I'm sorry if I'm like repeating details, but this is just how they want to start the reading for whatever reason. Maybe there's new people here who need it reiterated, you know, take it as it resonates. But um, anyway, someone told him like, it's like a controlling mother figure or a friend. I, I don't really think it's romantic. It could be for some, but I'm getting more of a platonic vibe, but it just kind of feels like they told him like don't follow your heart. Um, you know, it's a killer be killed world out there. You, you got to be careful. You can't trust this person. Like someone created a block. This person, I feel like wanted to go towards their love interest or their true love. And someone came in and was like, no, don't do that. Don't follow your heart. Um, Someone told them to walk away from you. And I, I feel like they did walk away from you. I think this is why it's being reiterated because I think in the past, like a couple of weeks or so ago when we did that reading, we were at that stage where they were still right in the middle of that. And it looks like there's actually progress that's either being made or about to be made in the near future. I feel like this person's going to have an epiphany that this fake person around them did not have their best interest at heart. So this is kind of like a continuation of that previous story. 
I feel like I just I really feel like this person just needs to learn to think for themselves. They they need to learn to think for themselves or their life is not going to be as fulfilling as it could be. I feel like this person told them um and this goes hand in hand with that message I was getting cuz I I don't know if I posted it. I know it was on my social media. I don't know if I actually put it up on YouTube, but I was getting in that that previous reading where we were getting this energy I was feeling like there was actually a woman that was trying to convince this man that his type is something that it's actually not. Like this woman wants to have control over his life, whether it's a mother or a friend, however they're related. Could be an aunt, even, you know, whatever their connection is, take it as it resonates. But I, I feel like she wants to have control over his life. So she would try to get him to go for these kind of naive, kind of innocent third parties you know, kind of very impressionable third parties because she she likes to be the dominant figure in his life. She doesn't want him to go for a woman who's going to be honest and assertive and confident and dominant because then it's a power struggle between... She, she's not going to... A woman who is intelligent and who is confident would date this man and see that this that this you know friend or mother is controlling him, and she would stand up to her and she would call her out and be like, "No, you're not going to control him like that." Or she would go to him and she would say, "You know, hey, I think your mom is is manipulating you. I think your mom is, I I, I don't get good vibes from this person." Like she would put her foot down. There would be a power struggle, and. This third party, whoever, however she's connected to this man, she knows that. And so she tries to convince him to go for women that won't question her authority in his life. Women who are insecure, women who are innocent, women who are naive, women who are easy to manipulate. Um, she, she tries to convince him to go for those women because then she gets to solidify her place in his life she still gets to be the dominant figure in his life she still gets to call all the shots and make demands on him and and dictate what direction his life goes and and lean on him when she needs him she still gets to do all that because a, an innocent naive woman isn't going to have the guts to question her or to be like hey this is really weird that your mom is like you know so involved in our wedding or or this is really weird that your friend is you know, taking up all your time and, and making these demands on you. Um, or this is really weird that your friend is like being competitive with me. It's like, you know, she doesn't want to have to deal with that competition. But anyway, I feel like for a long time, um, and it's, it's really strange because she's almost gaslit this man into thinking that this is his type. Like the Knight of Pentacles is like loyalty and stability. So she convinced this man that he just... It, I'm getting like, you guys ever see like the water boy? <laughs> you ever see the water boy where um, it's like a 19, what was it? Like 90s Adam Sandler movie where, you know, he's in love with Vicky and she's like the kind of more of a bad girl, but he loves her. You know, it's like, that's his person. And his mom is like controlling everything. And eventually it's like, he has to stand up to his mom to like be with Vicky. Right. I think, I think that's what happened in the end. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've seen it. But it's like one of those, it's that energy I get from this man where it's like he, he needs more self-love, more self-confidence. He needs to really stand on his own and think for himself because it's like he doesn't, he, he cares so much about his image that I feel like he kind of goes along with what other people say, what other people think. Um, and he's really got to stand on his own. And there is a message here that I'm, I've been getting that I've been channeling the last couple of weeks actually about gossip that there are two people gossiping and I feel like it's, we're going to get into it after I, after this spread, but I, I've been getting the energy of like gossip. Um, and it's going to come back on both of them. If this man continues to engage in this gossip, if he continues, even if he's doing it just because he's afraid of standing up to this woman, it's still going to come back on him in a very negative way. So we're going to get into that in a minute too. Just bear with me here. But, um, Yeah, it's it's kind of like this woman convinced him that you're a bad girl or you're negative or you're this or you're that. Um, he didn't intuitively feel that, but she got in his head and convinced him of that, at least for a period of time. 
and she she kind of gaslights him. I don't think he realizes that she's manipulative because she does it in such subtle ways that he doesn't even recognize that he's being manipulated. So so again, really needs to think for himself here. With the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is like loyalty, stability, being grounded. Um, so, so she basically told him like, Hey, this isn't your new start. This isn't, this wouldn't be good for you. Um, you know, go with these third parties instead, go with these innocent, naive, you know, young minded women. Uh, that's, that's where the loyalty is. That's where the, the stability is. And the thing is though, I don't even think these women are his type, but I think that he's been so brainwashed by this person, by this woman that I almost feel like he's convinced himself that they are his type. Like she's, it's, it's weird. It's almost like she has brought these women into his life. Like she might've even put for some, like she might even like, I'm hearing like pimp him out or something. I don't know. It's almost like she, maybe she like tries to set him up with these women. Like if it's like a mother, I feel like, and there's different stories here. So, you know, only take what resonates. Cause this is, this part isn't for everyone. There's going to be little details that are for specific people, you know, but if it's like a mother figure or a mother, for example, I feel like she tries to like set him up with the pastor's daughter or the neighbor's daughter that she knows is really young and naive. And he's like, no, I don't want that. Like, I'm not, I'm not really into her. And and his mom is like, no, like she's super sweet. Like she's stable. You just, you don't know what you want. This is, this is what's good for you. This is, you know, you can't trust yourself. You, you need to go for this type of woman. So, and it could be a friend. It could be a friend that like, you know, just, just wants him with that type of woman, however it resonates. But but it's, it's like, yeah, it's like he's been convinced that that's his type and it's not. And he just stopped fighting against it. He's like, and it could be too, because maybe he has his own toxic traits and these women are easy to manipulate. They let him get away with shit. They enable him. Um, so maybe he, maybe he's part of that too, where he, his soul doesn't really want that, but maybe he likes that because he's like, well, they're not going to call me out. They're not going to challenge me to be a better version of myself they're gonna let me stay in my comfort zone they're gonna let me stay right where I'm at I'm not gonna have to grow or evolve or look at myself or you know get out there and make the world my oyster I'm gonna be able to just stay comfortable um these are like I don't know it, it's like like honey can I bring you a beer can I can I like, let me just get back in the kitchen where I belong. Like, let me, I'm not going to ever question your authority kind of women, like very, very insecure, naive women. Um, sorry, but that's just what I'm feeling. But honestly, it's like his soul doesn't want that. His soul wants someone who's going to challenge him to evolve. His soul wants someone who's confident and passionate and emotional and romantic like he is someone who's on his level someone that can be they can be a power couple and I think he he has that strong personality even though he is a little bit insecure and a little bit impressionable and kind of goes with the crowd I feel like deep down he still has that strong personality and it, it's almost like it, it's it's almost like this woman has told him like, hey, two strong personalities can't be together. They'll clash. And that can be true. Like you have to work through things more if you both have dominant personalities. But on the other hand, there is potential to be a power couple if you're with someone who is as strong as you. If you're with someone who is as opinionated and honest, it's like you can have a very real, deep, honest relationship if you go about it the right way. You know, you guys can can fight these battles to get together. You can t have each other's backs, take on these challenges together. But, um, and for some, it's not even a person that's doing this. It's his own mind. It could be experiences he's had with women in the past that make him feel like, oh, I couldn't be with a woman like that again. That wouldn't work. It's like something's blocking him from seeing the truth here, or it has been. But on a positive note, I think that his soul is starting to come through. Clarify that for me. Yeah, I feel like he's working on himself and leaving behind the higher font, spiritual learning, spiritual knowledge. Yeah, he's working on himself and he's leaving people and, and negative situations in the past behind him. He's seeing more clearly with the higher font. 
and he's understanding. So the Hierophant is like spiritual traditions and institutions. It's also knowledge. It's like he's seeking higher knowledge. This man is seeking higher knowledge. And he knows that this path of the Hierophant is what's going what's to lead him to the Nine of Cups, which is happiness, uh, wish fulfillment. Um, he's starting to understand. It's like he's having a spiritual awakening. I think I might, I might end up doing the gossip video separately. Let me see. Should I do the gossip video separately? Yeah. So I'm going to do a part two to this. Um, check back for that. I'll post it at the same time. Should I post it at the same time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, sorry. Anyway, because we just, I ended up getting a different message here. Like it kind of veered off, but anyway, yeah, he's understanding. It's like this man is having a spiritual awakening. He's understanding He's seeing through the people around him and you could be doing something to help him with this. Like you could be doing healing spells like witchcraft, like healing rituals, um, clarity, truth spells for him. Like I feel like you're doing something positive for him and I feel like it's just your intention. Like you want to help this man. There could even be soul contracts for you guys to help each other. But I feel like you just have that really good, positive, loving energy. Like you have that energy of like, I see that this person is kind of lost. Like I care about them. I, I want this person in my life. I want to help them. I want to get them off this path. And I feel like that happens a lot like too with like past life connections because sometimes it's like, and that's when people are like at odds with themselves where they like kind of fight with themselves because they know who someone is on a soul level, but sometimes someone's soul, who they really are or what they're meant to do is so drastically different than who they've become on a conscious level because people do have free will. They can try to go against karmic, you know, soul contracts and whatnot. So I almost feel like you found this man and you're like, oh, hell no. Like, I know this man's soul. He's powerful. No way in hell am I letting this bitch control him. Like, I don't know who she is, but like, like you can feel it like energetically, psychically, telepathically. Like maybe you're consciously aware of this person, but you're like, oh no, I know this person's soul. Like I've, I've known them in my past lives. Like I know how powerful they are. I know how amazing they are. I know this is part of my soul group. Like no way am I leaving them in this lower karmic energy, playing it small with these toxic people that want to control him and these fake people. I'm, I'm not leaving this person in that energy. I'm helping them through this. It's like, you're the sun, you're the light in this person's life leading them to this spiritual awakening um, and leading them to cut out these toxic people and just see clearly. So, and it's for some of you, I think some of you are aware of this. Some of you consciously know about this. Others of you, you just feel like very, um, like your, your healer side comes out with this person. You're like, I know there's this person, this person's in a lower karmic energy. I, I want to help them through this. I care about this person. I know this person. Um, and that happens with past life recognition, like soul recognition. And it's difficult if you're a psychic because it's like, you can't tell people that without sounding nuts. Like you can't go up to someone and be like, Hey, I've, I've known you and loved you in my past lives. Like we're, you're part of my soul group. Like you're one of my soulmates. Like you can't just tell people that usually, I mean, most of them freak out. So it's like, you kind of are keeping this information to yourself. <laughs> but, um, anyway, yeah, I, I feel like you are. Whatever you're doing, I feel like is causing a spiritual awakening. For some, it could even be that you took your energy back. Tell me what it was. Yeah, the higher font, like nine of cups, like wishes fulfilled, wishes granted. I might post the second reading like within an hour of this. So it will be around the same time. It might not be exactly at the same time because I want to give this one a chance to get out there and to get out there in the world and the YouTube algorithm and but yeah check back for the other one <laughs> the Hierophant the Nine of Cups yeah it's like they have this epiphany it's like they're having these epiphanies they're like they're like they're like seeing through the people around them because they're starting to level up and they're not resonating with that lower karmic energy anymore they're not resonating with fake people. They're not resonating. Um, the last reading I did, it was about someone doing drugs, which could be this person. And they're starting to not resonate with doing drugs anymore. They're starting to not resonate with like being shallow or being fake or whatever. It's like they, for the longest time, this person just cared about their image more than anything. They were just all about their image. 
They were all about what people think, what, you know, what's in. This could even be someone that like follows trends, like follows like, like, um, like actual like trends, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is like, this is the cool thing to wear right now. Or this is the way to do your hair right now. Just like almost like high school energy. Like, like, you know, these, these new shoes are in, you should go buy them even though they're 500 bucks, like that kind of shit. It's like someone really, and I feel like this person does care a lot about their appearance, how people view them. Like they want to be viewed in a certain light. Um, and I'm not saying that like, and, and you know, everyone does to a degree, but I feel like for this person, it's like that side of them was like it dominant. Like it took over everything else. Like it, it like, like their empathetic loving side was trying to come out and this, this other side of, of just needing acceptance, needing approval, needing to be one with society was like taking over their life, you know? And again, part of, part of having those toxic people in their life. But they're going through this spiritual awakening. They're realizing that their wish fulfillment, like they're realizing that these things don't make them happy. They're realizing because they've been following the crowd for a while and they're like, they're starting to also realize that they're a leader, that they're meant to be in a leadership position. And so they're like, wait a minute, why the hell am I following? Why am I listening to this person that doesn't even have their life together? Why am I following this person that I know is fake? Like, why am I, why am I going down this path? Like, I don't even resonate with these people like what am I doing like why am I trying so hard to fit in with people that don't even like truly know me or understand me or want the best for me so it's like they're having a spiritual awakening that like their wish fulfillment is elsewhere that like you know they've been in this cycle this karmic pattern doing the same thing like following the same people over and over again for a while and they're like this hasn't made me happy though it's like, like the lemur, what it was, it was, I think it's like the lemurs, right. That like jump off the cliff. Like they all walk off the cliff. And like this, this man was like one of those lemurs that's just like, Oh, everyone else is doing it. Let's do it. And now he's like, wait a minute. Like all these people that I've been following, like, they're not happy. They're not, they have like surface level happiness where they're having fun, but they're not happy on a deep level. Like they don't, you know what I mean? Like they're just as lost as, as I am. It's like the blind leading the blind. So this person is kind of going down their own path. They're like, you know, I don't know what's going to make me happy, but it's not this. Um, and I feel like part of that, too, was them, you know, going with these third parties that they were, you know, manipulated into believing like this is the type of girl you should be with. This type of girl is easier to deal with this type of girl. But they're bored. They end up bored with these third parties. I feel like they end up like ghosting them or they just like lose interest because these women have very low self-esteem so they let them get away with everything like this man might like sleep with these women and then he like ghosts them because he's like well this is like they give it up so easily and I'm not I'm not like slut shaming I don't like don't take it that way I'm not I'm not saying that but it's it's almost like he says jump and they jump you know what I mean he says go get me a beer and they don't even question it they're like yeah sure <laughs> they're like he says get back in the kitchen they get back in the kitchen and he's like he's you know again he's been convinced that this is the right woman for him that this is easy that this is suited for his personality type and he's like dude but I'm so like yeah there's no conflict but I'm bored like uh, like he almost I feel like he almost challenges these women sometimes like to see if they have opinions or if they're going to put him in his place and they're just like eh <laughs> like you know so I think with a lot of these women he ends up just sleeping with them like he ends up not being able to form a deep connection with them. And then he ends up just having sex with them because he's like, well, you know, there's nothing else there. Like, um, but then I feel like he goes them after that or he, he just loses interest. He's like, well, there's nothing else there except for the sex or except for, you know, the fact that you do whatever I say or whatever. It's like, I just keep hearing bored. Like he's just bored with them. So it's like his soul is wanting someone like you, someone that has opinions, someone that has integrity, someone that will challenge him in the right ways. And I think he's also starting to understand because he's been led to believe that women like you are just difficult. You're just, you know, impossible. But he's also starting to understand, like, wait a minute, like if someone challenged me in the right ways to be like the best version of myself, like there could be healthy, honest, open communication. It doesn't have to be fights and toxicity um he's like uh, he's understanding he's thinking outside the box finally he's opening his mind up finally 
And he's like, wait a minute, there are other ways to, it, it doesn't have to be negative confrontation. It could be positive challenges, if that makes sense. Like things that kind of, you know, make me look at myself and make me evolve and, and shine a light on, on things that I need to acknowledge so that I can be the best version of myself and have the life that I want to have and be around good, supportive, loving, loyal people and not be around these fake people. So you're definitely bringing a lot of changes into his life. You're bringing a lot of epiphanies into this man's life. And for some, like I said, for some, it's like a mother or a friend. For others, this could even be his own mentality that he's fighting with. It could just be like past relationships. But someone, whether it was him or, or an outside influence, a third party, someone got in his head in the past and caused him to sabotage this connection. But yeah, now he's seeing like he might have even gone for a third party for a little bit. And now he's like he's seeing that that's not where his happiness is. And it's causing him to do some soul searching. He's like, he was pushed into this and he's like, wait a minute, I didn't really want to date this girl. I was just lonely or my mom just set us up. I don't even like girls like this. Like he's understanding finally that this is not actually his type, but that he's just been manipulated to believe that this woman is his ideal type. Like he's finally thinking for himself. He's like, wait a minute. No, this doesn't, everything this toxic woman said doesn't actually resonate with me. I don't actually want this. I don't want someone like this. This doesn't feel right for me. Um, but yeah, so he's he's basically bored. He's if he he's either not entertaining third parties anymore, or if he is, if this is your story, I feel like if he is, he's really bored with them right now. He's really just like not interested. He feels like they are. It's um. It reminds me of that book, Why Men Love Bitches, and that that book isn't about like being a bitch. It's about not being a doormat. It's about, you know what I mean? It's like this man wants a woman that has integrity. He doesn't, he doesn't want games. He's not looking for a woman to play hard to get. None of that. That's not what, that's not what that book is about either. And I highly recommend that book. If you have like that pattern of, of being one of those women, I recommend that book. It's a really good book, but it, it's not about playing games, playing hard to get. It's none of that. It's just, he wants a woman with integrity, with self esteem, with opinions, what was someone who's going to be a little sassy with him and, and challenge him and be playful with him in the right ways. This, this, this woman will like not like the third parties. If he jokes with them, they'll just get offended. They won't like, they won't laugh and like joke with him back. They won't like, you know what I mean? Like they won't talk shit back to him in like a playful way. They'll just be like, why are you being mean to me? And they'll just like, you know, they'll just run. <laughs> like they don't, they don't know how to handle that energy. Um, and you can be sensitive in positive in a good way. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're like offended. That's different than just being sensitive and being gentle and being vulnerable because this man does want a woman that's sensitive and gentle and vulnerable and loving and empathetic. You know what I mean? Like he does want that woman, but he also wants her to have her own opinions and her own, you know, hobbies and and he wants to be a power couple with someone and he's recognizing he can never be a power couple with a, a woman who just doesn't have her own life. Um, anyway, so that's where he's at. He is contemplating these things. He's doing some soul searching with the four of swords. And what he's, what he's realizing is with the sun and the death card, like you're the sun in his life. You are, you're the best of both worlds. You are, you are empathetic and you are sensitive and romantic and loving. And he loves those things about you. He loves that gentleness about you. And on the other side of things, you're also opinionated and you're strong and you're intelligent. You know, you have both sides. You have it all. You are the ideal woman for him. Um, he's starting to really just do the soul searching and realize what he wants and who he wants and he's going through this transformation with the sun and the death after it. Like the death is, is an, an ending and a new beginning. Knight of Cups, uh, Page of Pentacles. He's wanting to come forward with an offer. It might be a small offer at first. Like, uh, you know, let's go out for coffee or just, hey, how have you been? But he is wanting to come forward with an offer. Let's wrap this reading up. And then again, look for that part two. It'll be posted within an hour of this one. Actually, since this one's like almost over 30 minutes long, I'll just post it like maybe half an hour after. That way, by the time you guys are done with this reading, you can just go right back to my page and, and it'll be up. Um, okay. Okay. 
uh, final messages on this, on these epiphanies he's having. The moon. Yeah, I feel like he's leaving these people behind in secret. Like, he's trying to do it in a subtle way because I feel like this woman, he might live with this woman. Like, maybe he's, like, living with his mom because, you know, finances are tough or something like that. I, I feel like he's making plans in secret to get away from this toxic person that's manipulated him. He's doing work behind the scenes because the moon is about things being hidden. Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. So it's like he's he's trying to get away from this person now. Whatever you're doing is working. Yeah, justice. He wants justice. Six of Cups. Whatever you're doing is... Um, he might even be pissed about because he's seeing things that happened to him in childhood, possibly, if this is like his mother... And he's like, oh, hell no. Like, I didn't even realize I was being manipulated. Like, he's been in this pattern so long. And now he's seeing it clearly that almost for some of them, they want revenge on this woman. For some of them, they're like, oh, hell no. Like, I can't believe, like, I let her do this to me. Like, Page of Swords. Two of Wands. The World. Yeah, they're wrapping the cycle up, and they don't care if they have to be alone, honestly. Whatever you're doing is working, too. Like, if you're doing truth spells or if you're just sending them good energy, maybe just your presence. You're the sun in this life, so take it as it resonates. The sun is, like, the most positive card in the deck. It's healing and warmth and, and loving energy and just pure light. Um, so whether it's, you know, putting intentions in to help... You're helping this person heal. You're helping this person stand their ground, feel less alone, break these toxic patterns and cycles, stand up for themselves, reconnect with their soul, have the psychic awakening. Like you're really helping this person. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, don't give up on this person. It doesn't mean that you have to like sacrifice yourself for them or like give everything to them. But it's like, even if you're not seeing results in the physical, like there is a lot going on behind the scenes and you can probably feel that energy. Yeah, this person doesn't care if they have to be alone. They're going to stand their ground and they're going to heal themselves from this. Because this could be like one of those abuser types that like manipulates people and is like, you know, like his mom or, or maybe if it's a partner he's with that he's just he's bored with them or whatever it is or like a friend. They're going to be like, oh, you're nothing without me or you're not going to make it without me or blah, blah, blah. And he's going to stand his ground and be like, I would rather be alone and be just completely alone than have this in my life. Like, he doesn't give a shit how long he's known this woman, if he's known her for years or or whatever. He's like, if it's a family member, he's like, no, it's not worth it anymore. Like, you've messed my life up. You've blocked me from really good things. She's blocked him from a lot of opportunities, not just... She hasn't just blocked your connection in the past, but I feel like she's blocked him from, like, other good opportunities in the past as well. And he's seeing that now, and he's like, you know what, I'd, I'd rather be alone than deal with this anymore. I don't care what our history is. I'm not doing it. He's. I feel like he's cutting her out. Yeah, he's going to be strong and he's going to cut her out. I think he's also... Um, I think he's also juggling these two energies where he's like, do I, because the strength card can also be about being silenced. Like you see this person silencing this lion, like they're silencing their, their primal urges or their need to speak. For some, I feel like this man is pissed and I feel like he almost wants to just tell her off because he's having these epiphanies and these clar this clarity and he's recognizing how much she's sabotaged him, how much she's lied to him, how fake she is, how shallow she is. Um, he's like realizing these things. And I feel like if she tries to block it, it's actually going to come back on her worse. Like this is like, this is like destined for him to have these epiphanies and stand up to her, I feel. Or it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's destined the right word. It's, it's almost like I just feel like there's like divine guidance. There's divine protection here. Like if, if she tries to do black magic on him, like I feel like it's going to come back on, on, on her and it's not going to affect him. Like, I feel like it's going to come back on her and she's just going to, her life is going to be even more lonely, you know? 
Like, I feel like the only way for her to be in his life in the future would be for her to really change and really genuinely, like, better herself. Like, I feel like this woman has a shitload of bad karma for gossiping and bullying and lying and gaslighting and all the shit that she's done. She's got a lot of bad karma, and this is... This is basically karmic debt coming in. Could be coming in. Mercury retrograde is coming up. So this could be with Mercury retrograde too. Um, but there's no... I just don't feel like... Is there a way for her to like avoid this karmic debt? I don't feel like there is. Hmm. it's she would have to do a lot of good in the world and really change herself but I feel like it would still be a period of time and like I think in the meantime she's still too toxic to be in his life so it would be like a period of like her actually being a better person but I don't she, she's such a bad person that I don't think it could be overnight. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it would be one of those things where it takes her like a year or more to to learn to have empathy. So and I, I don't think he's going to want her back in his life. But I think she will possibly have like other connections that are similar to this one that she has the opportunity to have um, in the future. Like, But I don't really see it like I just don't see him wanting her back after this. I, I don't see him wanting to, I honestly feel like he's pissed. Whatever he found out about her, whatever was revealed that she did, he's pissed. Um, because like with, she's going to have no choice to let him, but to let him go. But I feel like it's like dependent on, does she want to make her karma worse? Does she want to try to manipulate him or do black magic? Cause that's going to make her karma even worse. But I feel like if she takes accountability and she was like, you know what, I was kind of a, I wasn't a great mother or I wasn't a great friend. Like I did kind of sabotage him. I did want to be in control in his life. I did think about my place in his life more than I thought about his happiness. Like if she takes accountability, I feel like she can get on a path of, um, you know, again, learning these karmic lessons and, and moving forward. And she can have, you know, better things like coming in for her. Um, and I think she might even in the, in the end, not want this man in her life either, because I think she might be like, well, cause she had to fight so hard to stay in his life is kind of what I'm feeling. Like she had to fight so hard to be dominant and, and, and to be in that position. And I'm not saying they didn't love each other or didn't care about each other, but it's, it's almost like she might, um, I don't know. I feel like she'll just meet new people that are like, like she doesn't have to do all that. You know what I mean? It's like people that are on her level. I feel like she wanted to keep this man like at a certain level and it's like she maybe she needs like a different type of people in her life or something you know what I mean it's like because he's going down a completely different path like their paths are, are you know their paths they're going down different paths they're, they're not going to resonate with each other anymore um but I think she will find people that she does resonate so it's going to be like for the best for all parties involved um, and people have free will. I mean, he could decide to have her in his life. I just, at, in this current energy with how he feels, I don't see it being likely because with these epiphanies, and there's nothing that's going to stop these epiphanies. He's going to have these epiphanies. Um, I feel like he is trying to leave in like a subtle way. Like he's trying to, he's, he's torn because with the strength, it's like, he kind of wants to talk shit to this woman. He kind of wants closure. He kind of wants to be like, fuck you, bitch. Like, how dare you do this to me? How dare you get in my head and block me? And the other side of him is like, you know, do I want to do that? Like, maybe it's drama. Maybe that's going to be more drama. Maybe I just need to kind of sneak out quietly. And, you know, I, I don't need closure. I just need to, I just need to go. I just need to, the high priestess knows everything, but she doesn't speak on what she knows. And he's the high priestess. He knows everything now. He, he It's out in the open. She can't hide her true colors from him. She can't repaint her true colors. She can't justify what she did. There's there's no getting him back at this point. There's The the only decision she has to make is does she want bad car more bad karma or does she want to move on and not have that bad karma, you know? But, 
yeah, with the chariot and the high priestess, it's like he's moving forward either way. Whether he whether he tells her off first or whether he goes quietly, he's still on the fence. He's like, I don't know, but he's going forward either way. Um, and you helped him being the son. You helped him with that. So anyway, I'm going to put this out there and I'll, I'll come back with another reading shortly. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, you know, share, subscribe if it resonates.